Good morning, students. Today we are going to discuss another worksheet, number 19, for the date 17th August. So, in this worksheet from the chapter Electricity, we are going to discuss the topic resistance, which we have started in the last worksheet. So, Ohm's was a scientist who has given this constant resistance, which is V upon I. So, this resistance is it is the property of conductor to resist the flow of charge through it. That means its resistance is like friction. That means it is protecting the flow of electrons. The electrons which are going through the wire or conductor, it resists these electrons for the flow and that's why it is called resistance. And what is it is resistance? It is the ratio of V upon I. That means potential difference upon current, which we have studied in the last worksheet. Now, there are some points on which this resistance depends. It depends on the size of the object, shape of the object and also the material. These are very important points that electrical resistance of a conductor depends on all the three and there are specific things on which this resistance of a conductor depends like length, area of cross section and nature of material. So, we will discuss one by one all these three. So first length of the conductor, when we say length of the conductor, more the long wire is higher will be the resistance because resistance is directly proportional to the length of the wire. So longer wire, greater resistance, shorter wire, less resistance. Second is area of cross section. That means you can say thickness also. It is inversely proportional here. So more thick the wire is, less will be the resistance and less thick wire, higher will be the resistance. So remember this, it is inversely proportional. When we say nature of material, in this we have to remember that the resistance of insulators, the sub, uh, objects which doesn't allow the electricity to pass will be higher as compared to the resistance of the conductor which allow electric current to flow through them. Then on the temperature, resistance of a temperature rises with increase in temperature. So as the temperature rises, the resistance increases. A cold filament has less resistance as compared to the hot filament. So that's why you can say that the resistance rises with the temperature. So from these two, we can say that resistance is directly proportional to length and it is inversely proportional to area of cross section. So we can write resistance is L upon A proportional to L upon A and for removing this proportionality sign, there is a new term which is known as rho resistivity came and this is your new formula for resistance. So now what is resistivity? It is numerically equal to the resistance of a conductor of unit length and unit area of cross section. Unit length and unit area of cross section came from this formula like this. If we write this formula, rho is equal to L upon A and rho is equal to R into A upon L. So okay. So it is numerically equal to the resistance of a conductor of unit length and unit of area 1 upon 1 L A A A. Okay. So what is the unit SI unit of this resistivity? It can be calculated from the formula. What is the SI unit of this ohm resistance? Area of cross section will be meter square and length will be meter. So 1 meter will be cancelled and you will get ohm meter will be the let's SI unit. You can see from this the resistivity of different substance is given and those who are conductor will be having less resistivity and those who are insulator will be having high resistivity like glass and silver is having the least and the glass is having the highest in this. As you can see resistivity of insulator is greater than alloys and alloys is greater than conductor. So the conductor is having the least resistivity. So the Conductor, good conductor of electricity having a range of resistivity between 10.8 to 10.6 ohm meter and tungsten which is used as a filament and copper are used for transmission of lines that means electric current. So this tungsten is having higher resistivity that's why it is used for the that your filament and insulator which are having a resistivity 10 is for 12 to 10 is for 17 like rubber and glass alloys actually have higher resistivity than its constituent metal so they are used for heating devices because they have higher resistivity they are used as heating devices okay now we go to the question answers so in this question answers you should learn that here 
the first question what are the factors on which resistance of a conductor depends so the resistance of a conductor depends on these factors it depends on the length it depends on area of cross section and it depends on the nature of material you if you want to write the relationship you can write the relationship also now we come to the numerical question it is a very interesting numerical you have to read it two three times so that you are able to understand it the wire of length l and resistance r is given okay this is wire l and resistance r is given now we have stat stated it we have stated it like this now if this was the initial length we have re reduced its area of cross section half that means the radius is half then the length will become four times okay so the it will become 4l and area of cross section we have reduced to half so it will be 4 and what is area of cross section it is pi r square so when we write r it will become square so it will come out to be this so your r will come out to be 16 r okay so this is how there is a change in resistance this will in place of this r you can write rho l upon a so this will cancel out with this and you will get the r value 16 r why are copper wire used as connecting wires because the copper wire are having the least resistivity or low resistivity and they easily allow the current to flow through them that's why why is the resistance of a connecting wire it should be between 10 to the minus 8 to 10 to the minus 16 okay and what are the conducting conductors of fitting device made up of alloy rather than pure metal because alloys have higher resistivity that then the and then not so its constituent metals so they are used for heating devices point number 3 will be the answer hope you have liked this worksheet so students subscribe and like this channel thank you